Once a year, deep in the BC mountains, the kokanee salmon run up the river to lay their eggs and pass away. During this time, tons of wildlife comes in for the spectacle, including bears, eagles, and even porcupines who we saw during our trip. On the trail, there were many obstacles, including washouts, avalanche paths, and logs across the trail. There's a ton of bald-headed eagles, uh, golden eagles we've seen. I've never seen a porcupine in the wild in my 32 years. We just saw a second one. You can see, you guys can see all the fish in here, all this red. On this week's episode, we take you deep into the British Columbia mountains to see the Kokanee Salmon Run, an event that only happens once a year and is seen by very few people. This time, I'd like to thank our sponsors for making this video happen, brought to you in part by Alberta OHV Trail Riders and Toy Factory Fabrication. YouTube. Uh, Griffin here with Country Slickers. We are headed out to British Columbia for the Thanksgiving long weekend. Very excited. This is for the annual salmon run, which is a super big deal, super fun. So basically what happens is every year the kokanee salmon come all the way up the valley uh, in the Columbia River and then they come out at different offshoots and little estuaries to lay all their eggs and then they die. So before they do that, there is a ton of, uh, ton of fish. They are beautiful, they turn bright red, uh, really pretty. They're really lazy, so you can actually catch them with your hands if, uh, if you wanted to. And then uh, also for the fishermen that are watching, you can take your rod and catch all the bull trout that, or the Dolly Varton that come up the river and go after the, uh, the kokanee. So really cool time. Normally there's a lot of uh, you know bears, there's lots and lots of bald-headed eagles and golden eagles in the area. So really hoping that, uh, that we get to see a bunch of wildlife and it should be a good trip. We've got the pup along. She's uh, doing a really good job of keeping an eye on Bailey, who's enjoying the mountains. So yeah, we're gonna get out there, have a good time. We're gonna get back into the bush. So we're gonna go down towards the Columbia River and then get off into, uh, into the back country and see if we can't see some good views. So stay tuned, you guys, and bring you along for the ride. Just keep going down this road here. We're about 20 kilometers up uh, up the valley right now. Still looking for these salmon. You kind of got to get off where the uh, the offshoots are near the Columbia, but these views are just insane. Like if you look behind me here, just these uh, the river views, the river bed. The water's nice and low right now, so you really have a cool contrast between those uh, those winter mountain peaks as well as the uh, you know kind of the fall colors down below. Really, really pretty. Love, uh, love being out in BC. It's always so breathtaking. The mountain scenery out here, it's just insane. It's crazy. Right, eh? See all the water, it's running so clear right now. 
so clear, so nice, so it should be easy to spot the fish, which will be good. Love it. And of course, the tremor. Making it happen. We are uh, we are tremor crazy on this channel. Love uh, love the machine, love the vehicle. It does so well. Um, we do have the tires there down a little bit. We're basically running a, a logging road, so it's pretty easy and pretty pretty easy going, you know. Got a path here, but it's off camber and sketchy. Looks like more of an ATV path. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's got more of a camber to it. We could probably make that, but it would be good to have a second truck with us. So perhaps in the future, maybe somebody wants to come out with Country Slicker, we could uh, we could attempt this. But uh, maybe next time we'll bring the side by side, or we'll uh, we'll have a second truck with us at the very least, because. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit sketchy for a crossing considering we're out here solo. Really pretty though, you can see all the mountains up there. Obviously where we just came, you've got all the nice coloring and everything. It's really nice. So, yeah, if nothing else, a really nice drive. Um, but we're going to have to find a different way down to the river to see the salmon. <laughs> okay you guys so we were just about to leave and uh bailey started yelling there's an animal something's coming at us and so i turned around and uh there was a porcupine running at us down the trail so i'll uh, i'll show you guys the drone clip right here it's pretty cute but uh there's this little guy this little porcupine and i don't know why he was running towards us but he was just charging full bore he was very excited to see us um but yeah super cool just uh, little things like that they just they make the day so cool just to be out here and see uh see all the cool stuff that nature has to offer so anyways we're gonna get going for real now and uh we will uh we will see you guys in uh in a little bit here we're gonna show you guys some views we're gonna get back find a way down to the river and we are gonna see slash hopefully catch some uh, kokanee salmon Okay, so we're cruising around the road. I tried to get a shot of it for you guys. Didn't get a very good one at all, but I've never seen a porcupine in the wild in my 32 years. We just saw a second one on the road on the way back. So crazy. So I'll, put, I'll drop the, comp, the, the clip I took with my cell phone here. I was too silly to grab the GoPro, but what are the chances? Go figure, it's porcupine cuffing season around here. They're out looking for friends. Shortly after watching this little guy scamper off, we made our way down to the river, which was another five kilometers or so down the road. And this is what we saw as soon as we got there.
doing? There's one right there. Oh, Millie, what's that? It's a fish. Oh. Okay, here we go. There he goes. Oh, <laughs> you stepped on him. What'd you do that for? There's another one. Oh, got away. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, look at the nice fish. <laughs> hey? Okay, here he goes. Goes away. <laughs> so pretty. You can see they use all these natural terrain traps to hide from predators. And and my dog, of course. guys can see all the fish in here, all this red, that's all salmon. And they just go forever. All the way up. I'll try and get you guys a cool shot in there. If I can get there before my dog does, it'd scare them all. Look at all those. Wow. See how they start to scatter there. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> So crazy. Millie, are you gonna catch one? Oh, try to catch one. Can you get the fish? Look, look right there. There they are. Go get them. They're right there, Millie. <laughs> get them. You have to go on the water, though. <laughs> <laughs> Too cool. I don't know if you guys can hear me with the camera right now but as I said earlier the kokanee come up here to lay their eggs spawn and then they pass away so super cool it only happens once a year um, I don't know if I'll be able to get you guys shots of it with the camera I'll really I'll try with the drone but I don't want to disturb them there's a ton of bald-headed eagles uh, golden eagles we've seen about five of them since we've been down here. So the eagles are out, which is crazy. Um, like there's one, you guys probably can't see it on camera, but right there, right, I'll see if you can, right where I'm pointing, right in there, there's one on the treetop of a uh, bald eagle. But the, uh, yeah, the eagles come in to eat all the fish. So super pretty. I'll, uh, I'll try and catch you guys a few fish here too. They're really lazy because they're here to die. And, uh, oh, that's nice. You can see where uh, an eagle had, it's way with that one. <laughs> so yeah, they're everywhere here. There's, you know, there's another one even as I'm walking, like they're, uh, all the eagles come in and just have a field day with these guys. So we'll, uh, we'll try and get you guys a few more cool shots, but it's so beautiful. And you guys can see my dad and girlfriend are over there as well. And uh, like the mountains, stunning. As long as you can get onto this river, uh, you can just see, you know, thousands and thousands of fish. They're just everywhere, super cool. Unfortunately, both of my cameras ended up dying on the way home. Those are all the shots we were able to get you. If you're still with us, please consider subscribing and liking this video, and we will see you on the next adventure.